So everyone, uh, so you're able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, th thank you. Uh, and uh, yeah, my name is, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give a small, uh, share my experience about uh, the opportunities um, being a chemical engineer. So it's uh, basically, it is not only a chemical engineer, this is my inputs can be fit to many engineers as well. So, but I try to pinch point a certain related topics, which is related to chemical engineer. Okay. Okay. About me, my name is Dev Anand Prakash. I am from Denmark. I'm currently residing at Denmark. Um, I'm head of um, APQP in uh, Siemens Gamesa Renewable Energy. So this company manufacture wind turbines. Uh, so they are the world leaders uh, for offshore turbines. Uh, so I am I'm part of the a quality corporate quality team. Okay, so my little background, I would like to explain because I'm basically an engineer. You can see me that instrumentation technology. That's my basic um, engineering graduation. And um, I have more than 26 years of experience um, in various industries. For example, if you, if you see here, I started from chemical company. That's my first job in Chennai, where I, I works as a, you know, a graduate trainee uh, for about one year, one and a half years, something like that, in Indian organic chemicals, uh, actually. Then I moved to Caterpillar, which is a um, heavy equipment manufacturing company. Uh, it's an American company where I had a lot of experience uh, there where I learned a lot. That means I learned everything from Caterpillar because that is an age where you can learn a lot of things. So if you miss that particular age from age of 23 to age of 27 or 28 or something like that, whatever you learn, then it give you back everything when you grown, when you get older, you understand? So Caterpillar taught me a lot. And the Caterpillar is an automobile company, heavy equipment automobile company. And I work for Ford for some years. Then I moved to Denmark. Then I work for, I work for Danfoss in Denmark. And, and Vestas is one of the leading wind industry again. I work for more than 10 years for Vestas. Now I'm working with Siemens Gamesa, which is also a wind turbine manufacturing company. So. You can see I have lots of years of experience in manufacturing sector, okay? So you can always contact me through mail and I also you can see my link, um, uh, my LinkedIn profile. So this is about me. I'm living in Denmark uh, for last eight years, of course. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm going to tell you something about what if the, can you see? Uh, uh, type of um, a manufacturing sector. So you can see the chemical engineer opportunity. It can be a many industry. It can fit into many industry. To so start with petrochemicals industry, you know, you know very well, which are all the industries where the chemical engineers are capable of performing their task whatever they are learning from the colleges. So petrochemical, food industry, pharmaceutical industry, package industry, and the painting that is related to automobile and other paintings, building all the kind of paints and uh, automobile parts, many parts, plastic parts, or uh, um, uh, tires. So there are many automobile parts where the chemical technology involved a lot and particularly fertilizers um, and also wind, wind industry. You know, what is that picture? It is a blade, that's a wing of the wind turbine where that involves a lot of resins and also the 
glass fibers and uh, those composites are many kind of chemical um, uh, technology involved along with the mechanical technology so this is this is how this is a major manufacturing sector as a chemical engineer you can have a lot of um, opportunities here so so this these are all the industries mainly um, you can fit in so next next slide i am trying to touch upon the product uh, supply chain and uh, supply chain um, you can see that the value chain and supply chain this 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 presentation slide is very important to for you to understand because we gather all the requirement from the customer okay the customer gives you the requirement oh this is this is how this is what i need this is what my requirement so customer always specify their requirements then any company any individual they have to make a planning okay what kind of planning you can have a resource planning equipment planning availability material so many things we have he have to plan and to for that you need a lot of money to invest that is also part of the planning so next then we I, we recruit some people to uh, make some kind of new innovation to fulfill the customer requirements once the innovation has been identified then we start developing the product whether it can be a new fertilizer it can be a new uh, chemical component which can be part of the automobile um, um, automobile so it can be anything so you have a huge list of product development and huge team is will be working on then once it is developed then we have to produce that one so for that you need some supplier correct you have to you cannot manufacture everything at your home so we need a place we need a factory we need everything in place at the same time you have to get the raw material and some other material parts from your supplier so you have to develop your supplier as well you understand so this is a value chain this is called product value chain it start from customer requirement until the supply development the next one is supply what happened got disconnected uh hello kartik again ah yes sir yes sir enna che sadana disconnect aichu sir actually vandu na 40 idlo 40 minutes mela panna mudla polo sir ad automatically disconnect aichu adanalla adana na just a minute sir ellame na pannirren sir ad host maathana vandu ella maaru oh one minute sir so everyone got disconnected illaya 
யா சார் யா சார் பட் எல்லாம் வந்துட்டாங்க சார் திருப்பி வந்துட்டாங்க சார் உள்ள ஆ அப்படிங்களா ஓகே ஓகே ஃபைன் நோ ப்ராப்ளம் ஐ கேன் எக்ஸ்டெண்ட் ஓகே சார் ஓகே சார் at everything to youtube okay fine right okay va okay sir okay sir okay. ipo na vandu youtube participants ku solidra marubadi start pandradhukku okay so yaarume inimed accept panna vena okay va right okay sir okay fine okay fine i'll just uh, speak to it okay. uh, participants so we are connecting to sir <laughs> Binot, uh, can we start again? Okay, thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Ah, okay. Thanks. Hmm. Thank you. Again, I try to uh, share my screen. I don't know where I left exactly, so I try to share my screen again. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So. you can see my screen correct yes sir okay so this 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 slide which i i was trying to explain before uh, which i felt it is very important to you um it fits into any manufacturing sector okay so one is a product value chain another one is a product supply chain the supply chain starts from the supplier it can be you because you produce certain things for the customer uh, it can be a manufacturer so the once it is produced that has to be sent by the vehicle transportation then 
assembly. You can make an assembly. And then I think my voice is echoing somewhere. I think, I think please uh, stay mute. Yeah, thank you. And uh, the, the next one is sales and marketing. When the product is ready, the marketing team will uh, do some, you know, um, and do, do, then make sure it is reaching the customer safely. So here in this one, accept this customer, unless you have a lot of money to become a customer. So you are the customer and you are, the, you are also a manufacturer. So, and also one more thing, which I can see that the missing is a service. Even after reaching your product to the customer, still you can get in track with the customer by doing the service. The service can be um, the feedback about the product performance, correct? When it is repaired, when it then, then you make, make sure you are contacting the customer. So this value chain and supply chain, which is more important, uh, which, um, so you as a chemical engineer, you can fit except the customer, because everyone are customer, except the customer position, you can fit into any of the role and any of the process, which I have placed in this small, small boxes. So here, some of the expertise area where any engineers here, I'm, I'm going to talk about not only chemical engineers, it, any engineers can fit into a different manufacturing sector in general, okay? So research and development, where you need, what kind of, maybe you, you as a student, you don't know much about, okay, what kind of research and development, how can be part of the research and development team? So probably it would pops up in your you know, mind uh, what actually they do, because they do a lot of innovation. So for that, what is required? You need more knowledge, correct? So what is appropriate requirement which is required to meet this expertise area? So definitely research and development, when you decided yourself, okay, I have decided I have to be part of the research and development department, okay. Better continue your higher education. For example, when you do, now it's a bachelor degree, try to complete your master degree, make a specialization in particular area. It can be um, a fertilizer or um, glass or fiber, any, any chemical specialty. Then you can find certain development, research and development companies, and you can start applying that. Then you really use your knowledge and skills and make sure you can be a good innovator uh, to become a part of a uh, research and development team. Okay. So next one is manufacturing. Manufacturing in the sense, it's manufacture of anything, any equipment, any, any um, chemical component, any chemical instrument, anything which is related to chemical or any other manufacturing facility. Right now, I'm working in manufacturing sector, but we develop a huge turbines, wind turbines. Correct. So for that, what is required? Probably to start with, okay, now you have selected, a, a, you are joining in a manufacturing company, maybe a small unit manufacturing company. That's more than enough to learn more things, correct? All requirement is experience. I started from Indian Organic Chemicals, correct? As a trainee, I was part of the small department where they do some maintenance work, okay? so. I learned the process. I, I, I gained a lot of experience in manufacturing sector with working in different department. So experience is one of the key essential where you can learn at your young age. This is the age. Try to go, try to go and do some, don't waste your time in holidays. Try to see how the small company functioning. So experience is which is very essential here. Then you know the product and process knowledge. When you do some work again and again, then you learn a lot about the product and the process behind the product, correct? So you have to spend a lot of time when you gather, then, then you automatically gain the experience. 
Then similarly, supplier development. So when you are working in a manufacturing sector, you, you have to receive certain components, which is manufactured in a different place, and you get it here and get assembled together. Okay, small, small part can be a big part or raw material, uh, the chemical material, chemical liquids, paint, raw materials, so many things you can. So for that, you have to provide, if you are working in a manufacturing sector, you have to provide your requirement because you are the customer for the supplier, right? So, sub, so you have to clearly specify your requirement to the supplier so that supplier can develop certain things and provide that back to you. So that is also product and process. And also you have to know the negotiation skill and communication skill. Correct. These are all the key requirements, which I felt, which is very important because after having a lot of years of experience in manufacturing sector. So that is why I gathered this information, which can be useful for you. Sales and commercial, definitely product knowledge is required and also higher education. Because for example, if you would like to do some MBA in certain specialization in good colleges, okay, good colleges. Some people, they always tend to do MBA after completing um, a bachelor in a, in, a, in a normal college. I don't prefer to do that because without having an experience, when you do MBA, it will not give enough taste. Try to work somewhere, at least gain two, three years knowledge. Then you go to MBA, then you feel comfortable, you know exactly you know, what you are doing, going to do. Understand? So try to have, unless otherwise you have very high, good colleges, please do not prefer to go um, an MBA after completing a bachelor degree. So that's my opinion, okay, please. That's my experience and my opinion. And the software, yes, software also chemical engineers can fit into the software. See software people, they know only the programming, right? They know only the programming, but you can, being a chemical engineer, you can tell the software people, if you know the process application, then you know exactly what is needed for the software. Then if you know the software programming language with the application knowledge, then you can do better than anybody else. You understand? So that is why many companies hire software engineers, uh, not only computer engineers. They don't hire only the computer people. They hire, they hire more people, for example, in Europe countries, in USA, many people, they hire mechanical engineers, chemical engineers all other instrumentation engineers, electrical engineers for their software company to become a, so that they know what is needed, correct? Application experience. Project management, that's a general things. Anybody can do these projects. Once that is required project management skill. And also it requires some kind of certification like uh, Project Management Institute from USA. They give some certification called PMP certification. I have received the PMP um, and PRINCE2 certification. It is almost all European Europe countries. They use PRINCE2, um, PRINCE2 principles in project management. So, so that is also important. Project management, that gives a lot of discipline. Um, this, is, this is the general one. Logistics, you should know the process. Without knowing the process, it is very difficult to manage. Service, certainly product knowledge and process knowledge is required. Otherwise you cannot make any service. And quality, I'm a quality guy. I'm being in quality for 20, more than 25 years now. So I should know the process. Yes, earlier I was working for um, uh, um, chemical company, then moved to automobile. Now I'm into wind, I know the process. But with my experience, I have a lot of certification courses, which gave me a lot of good things. I learned a lot. For example, Six Sigma, ISO, and uh, 
some European specialized VDA certification. I have got many certification. This was, this helped me in grow further, 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 further. Don't stop learning. There is no age for learning, okay? At any age, you can learn, you can get the certification, no problem. That always give you a good advantage for your future, okay? So next one, I try to give a small, a general uh, thing about um, knowledge. You guys gathering knowledge from education, from your professors, gain a lot of, so know what, what exactly it is. What is that? What is the technology shows? What is that component shows? What is mathematics? So you learn a lot from the knowledge. You gather a lot of knowledge. Then you apply the knowledge into certain application, correct? For example, application skills means, for example, I become an Excel, I become a Excel, uh, Microsoft Excel, I have a skill and I have a PowerPoint presentation skill. These are all the skills, correct? When you have a knowledge, and skills, how to do that, then you, you are into the process, okay? So this overlap should be there. Don't keep your knowledge separately and skills separately. Then without connection, then it is no use. That is why many people, after completing their degree, they're unable to get the job in the right area because this connection is no proper. They don't understand the process, okay? The next one is attitude, which is very important. Attitude, determination, know why. Why we are doing, why we know the knowledge, why do we need the skill? You have to ask yourself. And this connection, skills with attitude makes you a commitment, okay? So this, three circles in your life for your future, it is very important. Then you know the purpose, what to be fulfilled. This three is very important to be part of your life. And once all three are connected, then there is a portion here, you can see this, this, this portion. You see here this portion. This portion is called ability. So that is a competence. I have a competence. I have a competence to play around. I can act as smart. I can easily compare, uh, you know, quickly do my job uh, better than anybody else, correct? These are all the things, if you connect all three together, then only you can show your ability to perform your task easily. Okay, so this is very important for you know being you know being any engineers, any education. It is for a student. This is very important. I know for their students, many people think, okay, some people are bright. Right? Some people are always bright. They get quickly into their mind. Okay, when the professor says something, immediately they come up with an answer. Some people they are very bright. That is God's gift. Okay. Some people may not be that much bright. Don't feel bad, okay? Should not feel bad. That's also God's gift. Then you have to do yourself practice, practice, practice. For example, when you read something, physics, okay? I'm reading a lesson. First time, you may not be knowing nothing, nothing understanding. Oh my God, I don't understand anything. Don't feel bad. Try to read it again. Second time when you read again, you 0.1% you understand. Third time, fourth time, read, 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 then you understand. So practice makes perfect for everyone. Some people need more time, some people need less time. Finally, the mark is a common for both, correct? No one asks you how many hours you spent to study that one. Only they see the result. Okay, so think about, I don't know how to go back. Yeah, 
ok so so this one uh, education gives you more knowledge and skills okay education always gives you more knowledge and skills and um, a skill um, um, gives um, more application and more application you know application means when you apply your skills into certain area more application gives you a maturity okay if you do practice 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 then you become an expert okay correct okay i have a maturity i i i, I do this problem without having any issue okay fine then more maturity gives you the confidence correct when when you have a more maturity it gives you the confidence for example if most of you know about cricket you are all students you know about cricket if anyone ask any question related to cricket within no time you are able to give an answer why because you know that you have done a lot of exercise and read about this players more 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 you get matured once it you are matured then you get a confidence to reply an answer quickly similarly in your studies chemistry any engineering subjects confidence you have to gather the confidence by reading applying learning then you get a confidence then you can really perform well in your classes in your exams and you can see a lot of changes in the future so more confidence gives you some innovative ideas always correct so it you can come up with innovative ideas okay you think about in excel you play around with excel then you can every day you learn new new things from excel then you can come up with some new idea from excel easily i'm talking about microsoft excel so the knowledge which early in the previous slide i explained about knowledge skills and attitude this three when you have when you all three got connected like the circle it was connected from the previous slide then you no need to search for any job the job come to you understand so think about that this is don't keep your knowledge skills and attitude separately then you get lost many people are like that try to link why i am doing what i am doing how i am doing these three are important then the job automatically comes to you then this is age please learn a lot and do a lot of exercise then in future you become a good you will be in a good position to manage everything so the last but not least the the sentence from larry bird do you know who is larry bird is one of the a famous a basketball player from america he he's a really wonderful person a lot and he gives a lot of quotes this is one of the quotes which i liked very much the winner is someone who recognize his god's given talents understand everyone are talented people don't lose the hope everyone has got the health talent maybe it requires more time to correct don't waste your time gather and use of your talents and work hard and develop their skills and accomplish your goals okay that's it thank you so much and uh, yeah i hope you got some good inputs from my experience um and uh, i thank to st joseph engineering college and also i thank uh, dr professor baskaran and his team for a wonderful effort they have made to gather all of you here and um, to know more about what i had in my past and what i am now thank you so much stay safe enjoy rest of the year thank you Thank you so much sir. So can I stop video?
yes sir yes sir sir can we ask a doubt yeah please uh, sir i have a doubt uh, regarding this manufacture sectors mm mm-hmm. if one is getting into a, as a trainee in a manufacturing sector working as a trainee for one or year or two mm-hmm. can he change this into a field like design sectors or any other sectors which uh, supports the in the other industries see, some companies like yeah that. yeah for example see it is very simple so immediately after completing your degree for example bachelor degree oh yes sir first you join any company don't try to go to hire a big company why i i have not got don't feel bad okay any company you understand the process first even a small logistics supplier manufacturers that's fine you understand the process how do they do yes, how ma'am. how the material comes in how the material is getting manufactured how the material is going out how they are maintaining what are the documents they are doing you know understand you completely understand yes, the process the same process in any company when you go there the similar process maybe they use in different way you understand yes sir so yes, try sir. to understand the process and at the same time i told you about the age okay don't keep don't for example you are you have joined in one company okay but your aim is mm. to your aim is to become a technology or r&d specialist something like that yes, sir. okay you gather those information even prior during that period of time you gather those information what is required how do i specialize that one what kind of tools what kind of special skills you need it correct you gather this maybe you can uh, read a lot or you can apply some the training course in between there are a lot of online training courses are available nowadays not like our our years so a lot of things are available in the evening time you can come home and you can learn a lot you can apply then then one day you can easily get the certificate and go back you understand yes, sir. my question is yes, sir but my question is uh, if a person works in a manufacturer sector can he change his uh, uh, job to another sector like uh, design fields or any yes. other fields that supports the industries like a meda mod technic etc sir yes that is what that is what even in the manufacturing sector when you work then okay you understand the process finally everything you need manufacturing correct yes sir any anything has to be manufactured you right yes sir yes. you're right okay so now when you get to know more about other area other sector you learn a lot get get what is required for that then you specialize in that area as well parallelly okay yes then try to apply a job in a later stage Yes, okay thank you sir uh, thank you uh, for your doubt sir uh, one more thing uh, um, the participant govardhan has raised the question that uh, what about food sector what are the development in food sector and uh, manufacturing skill uh, those thing how to develop oh, okay food sector for example i'm i'm sitting in denmark so here denmark is very famous for dairy you know that and uh, here a lot of dairy products um, coming out from Uh, this food sector and they produce a lot and uh, which is where they 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 are manufacturing milk all milk related products it's really good here but it is very strict it you cannot even you know there are a lot of quality checks will be there before the the product goes out from the factory you understand so because if they find a small warm in any of it then whole company is closed so very very sensitive area food sector and the food sector again you have to gather the information about the food sector what specialized what kind of food it is correct there are a lot of type of foods are available so which food then which type of chemical is being used those you have to specialize you need more specialization when you want to enter into those area some companies they hire you during your studies itself correct third year fourth year then campus people come and recruit you quickly then you they get a chance directly if they don't get you do the specialization do more research and try to apply a job at food sector directly gathering after gathering the information you should able to perform an interview in the food sector if someone people say okay do you have an experience in food sector no do you know anything about food sector yes then you try to give all the certification this is what i am tra- i have done this training you can show that then they will give you 
they are not going to give you a ceo position to start with correct so step by step you go step by step then you sustain uh, you know for more years uh, thank you very much sir and uh, the last uh, few uh, many have been posted a lot of questions and uh, they want to know that uh, chemical engineering uh, students how uh, whether it is suitable for them to go to r and d or what kind of jobs uh, will be uh, perfect for a chemical engineering students yes chemical engineering yes of course um, they have lot of technology for example nano technology there are lot of new technology comes up in uh, this one fertilizer lot of new product development there are they, they have a lot of uh, technology developments are available and uh, i think uh, that is why if you want to stick with r and d if you want to be a part of r and d do some specialization in the masters then you get automatically okay. try to do it yeah thank you very much sir and um, participants uh, it's like um, uh, we have been uh, started this as a today uh, first uh, uh, session and uh, thank you very much for your uh, cooperation and uh, we have seen lot of queries and lot of questions uh, with this we will be in uh, I mean, uh, I mean, trying to uh, conduct one more session with all your queries and all the things. So hopefully, thanks for your uh, this thing. Kindly put your feedbacks and your questions in your feedback session. And um, thank you, uh, Devanand sir, for a valuable time for giving us and um, making this session uh, successful. And uh, participants, please kindly fill your feedback and your attendance uh, session. So e certificate will be uh, directly sent to you by today or by tomorrow. Okay, kindly fill it. so thank you very much of all the participants from different colleges and uh, thank you sir once again i thank you uh, for uh, giving uh, your valuable time and uh, your resources and your ideas for our chemical engineering students thank you very much sir thank and you i thank uh, all the uh, faculty people and our uh, department hod for conducting and uh, organizing this uh, successful event and uh, participants definitely will uh, uh, clear all your doubts and very soon and uh, conduct one more session for all your uh, queries thank you very much sir thank you sir thank you for uh, thank you bye bye take care participants please kindly fill your uh, uh, feedback and uh, thank feedback you feedback form <coughs> and you can uh, go check the uh, youtube link also uh, for your feedback kindly uh, have the link and uh, paste it please kindly note the, the exact form kindly fill it hello